Hi folks, welcome to the channel and welcome to the man cave. Well, we all know what it's like. We've gone out, we've bought some aftermarket electrical accessories to fit on your motorbike. And then when we come home into the man cave, then we've gone to fit those aftermarket electronic accessories to the battery terminals. And then once we fitted them, the battery terminals end up looking like a little bit of an overcrowded Christmas tree. Well, there is actually a solution and that is to get a power distribution module. Well, I've already fitted one of these to my BMW R1250GS. I was so impressed with it. I went out and I bought one for my Speed Twin. It's a 2020 Speed Twin. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We are going to be fitting a power distribution module from that UK company called Heeltech and they call it the Thunderbox. But before we do any of that, let's roll the intro. So here it is then, this is the power distribution module from Hiltech and they call this the Thunderbox. They actually do two versions. This version here will allow you to connect up to four accessories. Let's just call this the 01 version, gonna cost you about 64 pounds and that includes VAT. I'll put a link in the description down below to uh, Hiltech, so go and check it out. And if you've got more than four accessories, then they do a 02 version, which will allow you to connect up to eight accessories and that's gonna set you back about 84 pounds or thereabouts but you just need to make a little bit of a calculation as to how much amperage you're going to want to draw this version here the 01 version with up to four accessories will allow me to draw up to 16 amps and the 02 version will allow me to draw up to 32 amps and up to eight accessories and if you want to know how this actually works, then click on the link up here. That will take you to the R1250GS installation of the Thunderbox. In that video, I just go into a little bit more detail as to how the Thunderbox works. I'm going to keep this very simple. So I want the Thunderbox only to supply power to the accessories, which will be connected to these connector blocks here, only when the ignition is switched on. So first off then, these two wires here are going to be connected to the battery and then we're gonna have a switch live, which this white wire is gonna be connected. So when the ignition is switched on, this then runs power into the Thunderbox, which then flicks an internal electronic switch. There are no moving parts in here, folks. And then once that electronic switch turns on, then power will run out of the Thunderbox to the accessories. So that's how we're gonna power the Thunderbox to the accessories. And we're gonna incorporate this white wire here, which I'm gonna connect to the power feed, the live feed, running into the OEM USB connector, which sits under the seat. So that's how we're gonna wire this up, very simple. So let's just remove the seat. Connected directly to the battery at the moment, we have my power supply for my Kais heated jacket, and then the Optimate battery charger. Here's Triumph's USB power supply, which is connected into the wiring harness via this plug here. And this is what we're gonna be utilizing, the white wire, the switch live wire that goes into the Thunderbox to then power the accessories once the ignition is switched on. So we'll be utilizing this part here. Very simply, just gonna disconnect the power supply going into the USB and just to make sure that which is the live wire. So I think it's the yellow one, but we've got a yellow wire and a black wire. So I've got a light tester connected to the negative side and I'm just gonna pop that onto the yellow side and then turn the ignition on and the light in the light tester should turn on. So the ignition is switched on. So I know the yellow cable or the yellow wire is the live feed, which we're gonna tap into. And let's just turn it off, I just reach across the camera, ignition's turned off and the light's gone off. So I'm happy that that is the positive feed, the switch live feed into the USB. So that's what we're gonna use. Next thing I'm gonna do is just with a very sharp knife, very carefully, just trim back some of the black electrical tape along here, just to reveal a little bit more of the yellow wire. And then that will allow me just to connect the supplied wire tap connector around the yellow wire, which will then feed the switch live into the distribution module. So there we go, I've just pulled back about an inch of the black electrical tape and then we'll take the wire tap connector, attach that around there and then that will provide me the live feed into the Thunderbox. Next thing then from the wire tap connector kit, take the red bit of plastic and then we're just gonna feed that over and onto the yellow wire 
like so. And then we're gonna take the white wire in the kit. I'm not gonna cut this at all, you can cut it, but if I wanna use this Thunderbox again, another bike, I might need the full length, so I'm gonna keep the full length, I'm not gonna trim it. And then what we need to do is then feed this through the hole and there's a there's a solid bit of plastic this end so it's not going to push right through and then take the metal clip put the clip in there and then we'll crimp it closed pop that in there like so and what you want to make sure is the metal prongs are over the yellow wire so you know they're going to pierce the plastic and then into the metal take a set of mole grips or similar and then just crimp them go and have a quick look this end I don't know if you can see that but the metal prongs are you can clearly see the metal prongs so we know we've got a good solid connection and then push this over and it should clip there we go so that is the white wire is now connected to the yellow switched positive wire so when we get power going through here this will then activate the switch on the Thunderbox and then provide power to the accessories Woohoo! Next thing then is to remove the battery strap. Let's remove the negative terminal first, followed by the positive terminal. And then we remove the positive terminal and put this somewhere safe. So this is the Optimate charging lead, which will go back onto the terminals. The power supply for my Kais heater jacket, we just cut the ring terminals off and then just connect the wires into the power distribution module. Get your Thunderbox, get the red wire, from the Thunderbox, pop the screw back in there. That's my Optimate charger, the red end, the positive end, that's back in there. And then we'll just connect that back to the battery. So very important that you connect the positive to the battery first. So that is the positive side connector to the battery. So what I've got there at the moment is I've got the positive feed into the Thunderbox. And then this is just the positive feed to my Optimate battery charger. Next and then the negative or the ground wire from the Thunderbox, get your battery screw and then where's my Optimate? There's the Optimate, so there we go. That's the uh, ground negative, so that's popped in there then. And then we connect that to the battery. Ah, right there, nice and secure. So what we've got at the moment then is the terminals are back on the battery and then I've got my Optimate battery charger cable still connected to the battery. And then what we're going to do now is just finally position the Thunderbox down here nice and tidy. Then we'll connect the heater jacket up to there and I'll show you how it all works. We're just going to tidy this up with some electrical tape. It's nice and tidy. So just going to connect this plug back together and then connect it back to its mounting point under here. So this is now back on its mounting point and I'm just going to put the Optimate battery charger fuse just down the little gap here and then finally connect the battery strap so we've now got power being supplied to the Thunderbox directly from the battery because it's connected directly to the battery. So I don't know if you can see that, but it is just flashing an intermittent green. So there's power going to that. And all I'm going to do is just feed the Thunderbox actually under the battery retention strap. It fits there quite nicely, actually. The Thunderbox is actually very clever. Two ways to supply power. You can either not bother connecting the these two white wires together, which will actually mean that it's not a switched live and the Thunderbox, because of electronics in here, it's very clever. It will then, when the engine starts and it reaches a predetermined voltage threshold, it then says, okay, we're above, I think it's 14 point something volts. It will then operate the power. It will then activate power to your accessories only when the engine is running. However, if you want the power to be supplied on when the ignition comes on that's when you utilize these two wires so that's how i'm going to do it so i've got a switched ignition or switch live from the ignition so that's why you use these two wires so i'm going to connect those together just tidy all this up there we go pop that in there so using this method I don't have to have the engine running, but if you can't, if you find it difficult to tap into a switch live, then you can just use the red and the black directly to the battery. And then the switch in here will only open when the, the engine voltage from the alternator hits a 
predetermined threshold of about 14 volts because the normal battery voltage is 12 volts. So when the engine is running, it's pumping more than 12 volts into here, about 14, and then that will activate this switch in there, which then activates the power to your accessories. I hope that makes sense. Well, that's it folks, everything is now tidied up and connected. So the battery strap is just holding everything down quite nicely. So the Thunderbox is nice and secure and we just looped all the cables. So it's a nice tidy install and just make sure that when we put the seat back, nothing is snagging. So this is the power supply for my Kai Seater jacket. I've had to cut the ring terminals off and just expose about four to five millimeters of bare wire. And then the positive and the negative will feed into the uh, green for the positive and black for the negative and that will be uh, one of four accessories that I can fit to the Thunderbox unit itself. So it's a very simple installation and just makes fitting things later on very easy to do and all of this will operate from a switch live so it will only be powered when the ignition is switched on. So that is the installation of the Thunderbox on the Triumph Speed Twin. Just remember that the white trigger wire that we connected to the yellow wire on the USB only needs to be connected if you want the Thunderbox to come on when the ignition on the bike is switched on. So if you don't want it to operate that way, then you don't have to use that white wire that we tapped into the yellow live wire going into the USB. Just don't bother connecting it and just use the red and black wire going into the Thunderbox and connect them directly to the battery, which means that the power will be supplied to your accessories only when the engine is running. Regardless of the two methods that you have used to power your Thunderbox, the Thunderbox will let you know that power is being supplied from the Thunderbox unit to those accessory connectors when there is a solid green LED light being displayed on the side of the Thunderbox. And now it's very simple for you to connect your aftermarket accessories to a power supply in a matter of minutes. And because we've disconnected the battery, you need to reset the time on your clocks. Well, that's it folks, I hope the installation of the Thunderbox on your Triumph Speed Twin has been of some use to yourselves. After a couple of rides, just pop the seat off and have a quick look under the seat just to make sure that the battery terminals are still nice and secure and nothing has been trapped and potentially being frayed. As ever, ride safe, put any comments in the comments section down below and we'll see you again soon in the next video. Cheerio for now.